The left, and I include myself in this, tends to not respect authority figures by default. Someone has to earn our respect. This is not to say that we don't do what authority figures tell us, but, uh, you know, especially if the law is involved, we'll do what authority figures tell us to do. But we don't just automatically respect them just for being in that position. Now, there are, there are some exceptions to this, but like um, the left will respect uh, professors, university professors by default. Well, they had to have done a number of things in order to have made it in this position, so um, we need to show them respect. There are institutions that the left will respect by default. They'll, they'll respect universities and, and higher education by default. They respect science, you know, the scientific method, uh, sometimes. <laughs> I'll go into more a little bit a little bit later in this, but uh, they respect the conclusions that uh, the most prominent scientists uh, come to. But then you have the right. The right wing tends to respect authority figures by default. Well, you're in this position. We need to respect that. They tend to respect a heavy-handed hierarchy by default. You know, this element of know your place, you've got to know your place, and somehow be comfortable with that. Now, I think some of that kind of comes with a, a religious mindset. You know, religion, uh, or at least Bible-based religions, tend to have a know your place sort of thing built into it. I mean, and you also, you know, oh, first off, you need to respect God, right? So, if you're already in this mindset to respect a God, then it's easier to respect other authority figures as well. So, but the right wing tends to not, if there are, if there is corruption within the authority figures that they respect, they don't really want to look at it. They don't want to really examine it. They don't want to fix it. You know, if it's, if it's worked for them, then they don't think it needs to be worked on. So this is one of the reasons why the right doesn't even seem interested in getting rid of corruption in the police at all. They want to pretend it's not even there. You know, you, you try to mention stuff that goes on with the police, and they're like, well, you know, those are isolated incidents. There's, de there's definitely nothing systemic here. Now, I'm not saying that things are as bad as some of the left is, is suggesting, but there are things that need to be fixed. You can't just pretend that there, there aren't systemic problems in, in police, the police department, in law enforcement. There is some systemic racism going on. I like, like I've said before, there, there's especially profiling that happens. Now, I understand profiling. It's needed if they're looking for a specific suspect. But if they're just going around patrolling, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be profiling people. Oh, well, you, you, fit, you uh, fit a profile that has statistically done more things, so we're going to look at you as if you're a criminal just because you fit this profile. Yeah, that's not right, you know? Um, but the right doesn't seem to want to do anything about that. No, it's not really a problem, you know. They don't even want to, they don't even want to come to an agreement, well, yeah, there's a problem, but it's not as bad as some people are saying. No, you don't even want to go there. You don't want to compromise your position at all. There's no problem. It's all the groups that are affected by it. It's their problem. That's the attitude, right? And, uh, and I'm like, well, there, there is a problem. 
But the flip side of that, okay, um, there is ideology, political ideology, that for at least a couple decades has really, really leaked into higher education. Okay? Um, education should not be cramming a a left-leaning, a very, I should say, a far-left ideology into it, okay? Uh, especially schools that are taxpayer-funded in some way. They should be politically neutral. Or if they cover some uh, philosophies, political philosophies on one side, then they need to equally co cover political philosophies on the other side. But that's not happening. And there are some very divisive things that get taught at colleges. You know, and again, they're, they're, they're pretty far left. You, you, can't, you can't argue that th these things aren't political. You can't go, oh, well, that's truth. You know? And so there is some parts of the scientific method that is being ignored. It's being ignored more and more and replaced with I, uh, political ideological stuff. I worry that some of the hard sciences are, start, are going to be affected by some of these changes that have been happening. You know, especially over the past five or six years. It's, it's, this stuff is leaking into everywhere. And the left doesn't want to look at that because, well, it's, it matches their own ideology, so of course they're not going to want to uh, stop their own ideology from being taught, right? But they don't view, they don't see the corruption in that. So they, they, want to, they don't even want to admit that there's a problem. The same way that the right doesn't want to admit that there's a problem with the police. So both sides have things that they're not willing, problems that they're not willing to look at, corruption that they're not willing to look at. I mean, and I'm just like, okay, look at, what is her name? Helen Pluckhouse, I think is her name. And, and a few others um, wrote fake grievance studies uh, uh, papers. And some of them got reviewed peer-reviewed. One of them was uh, uh, basically Mein Kampf, but they just changed a few of the things around, but it's still the same thing as Mein Kampf, and it got peer-reviewed. And they showed how this whole thing is corrupt. You, you can say the most ridiculous shit and claim that your group experiences this or that. These are our grievances. It gets passed through. Um, God, what was one of them? Uh, what was it? Uh, sexual harassment in, in dog parks because of, I can't, I can't, I can't remember everything about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, people have tested the system and it, and it proves that it's corrupt. But uh, so many people on the left, la, 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 I can't hear him. It's just like, um. There needs to be a, a, a nice trade-off. You know, the left needs to work on getting rid of corruption and bias, you know, political bias in the universities, and the right needs to be willing to work on uh, getting rid of police corruption and corrupt hierarchies. They both have some work to do.